Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets and uh, approaching the US market open as well. Uh, be sure to visit Trade Signaler, signal to market updates from leading providers, www.tradesignaler.com, and obviously you'll get access uh, via the uh, Android App Store and the uh, Apple's App Store as well. Uh, you can download the latest app and uh, keep up to date on the latest signals and updates. Okay, now in terms of uh, the uh, markets today, obviously the holidays are over. Uh, the UK and the US are back online. We've had quite a stellar session in Asia. We've had the uh, Shanghai up 3.3%, although it was down minus 10% at one point overnight, which really isn't a healthy sign, folks. It really is a cause for concern. Uh, we have Hang Seng up and we have the Nikkei up as well. Now, even though that's the uh, markets are higher, a lot of that was due to the uh, uh, US market close on Friday. So a lot of that was lagging to a large extent. Now, the major concern really is, um, other than the uh, obviously Asian markets being high, obviously uh, it's generally interpreted as being positive. But the major concerns that we uh, that we have or we have to face is that uh, we had Miss Yellen certainly with her hawkish stance on Friday. So we need to ascertain now whether our hawkish stance is actually positive or negative for the stock market. Now, last week, obviously, the market was distorted to a large extent due to low volumes, given the holidays, etc., etc. But we shall certainly find out today. That will certainly be the key. That's one of the signs I'll be looking for. If whether or not a hawkish stance by the Federal Reserve and rate hike expectations are actually interpreted as being negative. My understanding of economics, and my uh, given my degree, etc., a rate hike obviously hurts commodities via the stronger dollar. And uh, obviously, commodities are getting hurt. It obviously creates this deflationary spiral to a large extent. And that obviously sends the uh, equity markets lower as well. As we all know, uh, a rise in interest rates obviously hurts uh, the individual, whether it's via the uh, personal consumption, i.e. Uh, mortgage payments going higher. And obviously, whether it's business loans. And uh, obviously, uh, that again is uh, another factor to certainly consider. Now, uh, the cost of production and so on and so forth. So... Again, it's generally considered to be negative, given the fact that the markets have rallied quite substantially already. They've already priced in perfection. Uh, can this market really move any higher? That's the question. Now, in terms of economic data this morning, we've had uh, weaker German retail sales. So again, that's a warning shot, although it was countered with stronger German uh, employment data. Uh, we've had Australian uh, building permits and uh, exports, imports, etc. Certainly a stronger overnight as well. Uh, we've had uh, the uh, PPI, CPI data more or less coming in line uh, in terms of the Eurozone. Money supply growth certainly has been weak. Italian CPI as well. And uh, EU in unemployment certainly came in on the uh, slightly, well, came in on expectations, um, but slightly on the stronger side. So, again, certainly a mixed set of results. Now, we've had personal income data come out from the US. Personal consumption expenditures as well, stronger than expected. Personal spending, stronger than expected. So it certainly helps the um, rate hike cycle equation. And given the fact the markets have, like I said, price imperfection, it certainly seems that a pullback is warranted, especially with it being a Tuesday reversal day. That certainly will come into the equation as well. Now, allow me to bring up the actual indices. Uh, before I do, I just need to bring up the chart of the Euro USD. I think this is quite important. Although personal incomes and spending, etc., will help the dollar to a large extent, and obviously Yellen's speech as well. Uh, a lot of the question really needs to be asked is whether or not it's all priced in. The given the fact that the euro certainly has been sliding and that's been helping equity markets. Now, given the fact that the euro now is starting to reverse, that will obviously dampen equity markets and cause a negative uh, effect. Okay, so looking for a potential reversal. Any rally itself will be capped at 1.12, and that certainly is a zone to watch for the Euro USD. Okay. Okay, now in terms of the Euro, now let's just cross reference that with the German Bund. There we go. Okay, so the German Bund itself on the daily chart, you can see that it certainly has started to reverse. As we all know, when the Bund moves lower, the Euro moves higher, and that obviously hurts the equity market as well. Okay, so again, this there's a lot of variables at play here, and everything from my perspective certainly is indicating a potential move lower uh, in the, especially European equities. Okay, now let's bring up the chart of oil as well because oil itself has been instrumental in the uh, the actual rally recently. 
given the fact that we have had a uh, impressive run. Now, you certainly are experiencing doji candles here just below the $50 region, so the markets have failed to penetrate that. You do have a HNS formation in play on the uh, the foots on the actual chart of oil as well. As you can see, this right shoulder is holding that 50, 70, 65 to 75 percent, and you are looking for a potential thrust lower. So, from my understanding and my perspective, everything is indicating a move lower. Now, let me bring up the chart of Euro stocks. You can clearly see here Euro stocks consolidating within that bearish red candle, broke out the bullish channel, and you have the unfilled gaps that need to close below. So, they will remain the targets. The daily chart on the Euro stocks, you currently have the Fib 65% or 75% resistance zone on the chart of Euro stocks. Again, that certainly needs to be observed and watched carefully, and that will hold. Now, the unfilled gap at 3125, from my perspective, is very unlikely to be hit given the fact that you had weaker German retail sales today. So, again, um, a piece of bearish information that fails to. Uh, to validate this rally okay now looking at the german dax again you have the hns formation the 10 minute chart which i've highlighted already on the twitter handle and you clearly you can see on the 60 minute chart you have this bear flag formation with consolidating and then looking to potentially thrust lower so again the weak retail sales will trigger this hns formation as you can see on the 10 minute chart you can also see on the 60 minute chart and you are looking to break lower given the fact that we've broken out this rising a bullish channel looking at the cac 40 you are slam into the uh, fib 75 percent plus to 200 ma on these uh, daily charts so therefore looking for resistance 60 minute chart at the moment certainly caught higher highs and higher lows continue uh, but the 10 minute chart certainly tells you another story you clearly have a, a hns formation that's already played out and then you have another hns formation here so uh, again indicating exhaustion h &S formations indicate exhaustion. No higher highs have been registered all day. Now looking for a lower high or looking for a thrust lower. Okay. So certainly a bearish stance there. Okay. From my understanding. And looking for a move lower. So given the fact that you have a head at uh, 4536. You have the neckline at 4507. You're looking at a potential a retest of this 4470 zone. If the market flushes further, then you're looking at 4440 on the uh, French CAC. Okay. Now, uh, if you can cross verify that with the S&P 350 and the stock 600. Now, if I bring up the stock 600 on the daily chart, you can see that we're into that 200 MA horizontal resistance. If I bring up the S&P 350 Europe, you can see you're into the 200 MA and horizontal resistance. So both indicating from my perspective, certainly indicating a move lower. OK, and that's what I'm expecting as well. The FTSE 100 on 60 minute chart, you can see that we've certainly created a shield at 6280. Unable to pass that bearish engulfing candles as well. 10 minute chart clearly HS formation pivot high 6290 neckline uh, 6250. You're looking at 6220 to potentially close below. Okay, uh, and that certainly is uh, a summation, uh, really, uh, from my perspective. Yes, we've had the Nikkei rally, but the Nikkei certainly is into resistance as well, as you can see here, Fib 75 and horizontal resistance as well. The Nikkei, given the uncertainty regarding the sales tax, that's going to call, send a few ripples into the markets now going into the u.s session s p 500 is into resistance at 2100 and you have 2110 the daily chart certainly back into that horizontal resistance zone so given the amount of uncertainties given the fact that we've obviously moved higher on light volume markets pricing in perfection etc 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 you are looking for a reversal be sure to visit cfds.com especially since bread making a cfd brokerage and then up to two and a half thousand pound with their cash bonus offer of up to 25 percent Wish you the best for the US trading session and for the remainder of the European one. Goodbye now.